Hello YouTube, uh, my name is Asnain and I'm back with a new video. Uh, in this video, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna create one application for a particular YouTube channel. Uh, let's say for an example, uh, I want to create an application for training codes. So uh, what I will do with the help of YouTube API, I will just make uh, a programming in such a way that I can get all the videos uploaded on the trending codes in a one single application so there is no need to go on the youtube and search for the latest videos of trending codes so uh, in this video with the help of youtube api we're gonna retrieve all the videos all the thumbnails all the published date and all this stuff for that particular video and we're gonna create a beautiful app uh, here there is a demo for you people what i have done over here is i have just retrieved the image uh, i mean thumbnail of the uh, youtube uh, particular video and the heading so uh, basically in this tutorial uh, there will be a series because uh, to do this all this stuff uh, there is uh, like i need to create a series so uh, i will create a series and uh, i will just show you how exactly what we're gonna do in this app how we're gonna retrieve all the stuff uh, with the help of HTTP get method and and to do that uh, let's dive into the coding so uh, to create a new project what you have to do is uh, you gonna type the Ionic start and they're gonna ask for what template you need uh, I'm going to name my project as YouTube underscore API and they're gonna ask the uh, what template we need I'm gonna go with a blank and they're gonna download this stuff and let's wait okay so uh, I opened up my project inside the Visual Studio code and uh, I have done my basic settings so uh, the basic settings are like open your module.ts file app.module.ts file and import the HTTP module and uh, write it down inside the imports right over here once you do that head to the home.ts file and import http from angular http and import the rxjs uh, operators observables and uh, right now i'm showing the i'm getting this error because i don't know my visual studio code is behaving strangely nowadays my intelligence is not working i don't know i'm not able to fix that now once you uh, done with the basic setup uh, st uh, we're gonna start coding by declaring the basic variables like channel uh, ID equals to um, the channel ID which you want to create an app for basically I'm going to uh, get the channel ID of trending codes of my channel I'm going to paste over here and after that uh, the total number of the total number of videos which you want to display on the screen uh, so max result uh, equals to let's take five for uh, for now and after that uh, Google token I'll just help you how to get Google token from the uh, developers console uh, I'll just show you mm. equals to uh, blank for now I'll just show you how to get Google token and we'll paste right over here and the search query um, let's say for an example ionic 2 okay and um, and we're gonna create one array where uh, we're gonna receive all the videos and we're gonna push those videos inside the array it should be of type any and we're gonna declare it empty for now okay now once you declare the variables uh, just go inside the constructor because when the app start we're gonna retrieve all those stuff from the YouTube uh, API so uh, now we're gonna create one variable uh, let's say for an example the URL and inside the URL um, we're gonna create uh, like from where we're gonna take all this uh, 
we're gonna re we're gonna get the results from this URL so uh, what we're gonna write is we're gonna pass the URL that is HTTP, uh, HTTPS um, colon slash slash www dot google apis um, dot com slash youtube slash um, version 3 of the api and uh, search search equals to uh, i mean search we're gonna search the uh, videos for a particular channel so um, uh, part equals to uh, id comma snippet we're gonna retry we, we need the id and snippet for that particular channel so our id comma snippet once we got the id and snippet uh we gonna uh like we are we are getting the id and snippet but we need to specify inside the url that i need uh trending codes id and snippet so i'm going to pass the id channel right over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the person and channel id equals to now i'm going to uh, use the plus operator and i'm going to embed this string concatenation over here uh, equals to plus uh, what we have used right over here is uh, channel id Control c and just go ahead and paste it right over here now once again i'm going to use this and uh, don't forget to write this dot channel id we have declared the outside of the constructor okay now again um, I, I specified the channel id uh, in the url now i need to fire the query i mean what exactly what kind of um, uh, data we need we need ionic 2 type of data so our search query is ionic 2 so we're going to specify the and person um, I guess uh, yeah and person Q because we're gonna concat the URL too so Q equals to plus uh, this dot I guess search yeah plus double codes uh, now uh, what we need from the uh, channel from the training codes we need id and snippet now from id and snippet we're gonna retry the videos so uh, i'm going to type type should be equals to videos mm, okay and the order for my retrieving uh, should be of uh, date so order equals to date so the last uploaded video will come first and the max result uh, the max results equals to plus what we have specified over here is five so we're going to concat this right over here this dot um, max res okay once we are done with getting the max results uh, uh, we're going to specify the uh, uh, token which we are getting from the uh, right over here we're going to specify the google token over here i'll just show you how to get the google token and we're going to embed that too inside the url so key um, equals to uh, the token which we're gonna spec uh, which we're gonna take uh, which you're gonna get from the uh, particular uh, developer console and remember that if you need a uh, api from the google developer console you should have a google account so if you don't have a google account just go ahead and create the google account and just uh, access the developer console with that particular google account so you can get the api uh, YouTube API for 
getting the uh, work done inside your app of Ionic because uh, without YouTube API you can uh, you can get access of all the YouTube videos okay so um, we are uh, done with this no we, we need to specify this dot uh, Google token okay uh, now we have just uh, embedded all the stuff uh, in the URL so uh, we're gonna retrieve all the data from this particular URL so make sure you don't do a mistake while writing this URL inside your code if you're gonna do a mistake you are not going to get a single data from the YouTube okay now uh, we need to get all these uh, all those stuff inside of our console inside of our browser so to retrieve that what we're gonna do is this dot okay now we're going to use this HTTP so I'm going to inject inside the constructor uh, public um, HTTP of type HTTP okay now this dot HTTP dot get method okay what what we need to get we need to get this URL right so we're gonna just copy and paste right over here and dot map so basically the map function is just getting the data and uh, converting that data into the into the JSON and then subscribing it and then re receiving those data retrieving those data and pushing into the uh, post array which we have created over here so we're gonna map that and we're gonna retry the result and what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, convert that result into uh, into the JSON so JSON okay sorry okay JSON and we converted the data into uh, into the JSON and we're gonna subscribe it after subscribing it uh, I'm going to receive a promise so uh, data um, I'm going to create a handler for that data and this dot we're gonna push those all those uh, retrieving data inside the uh, array which you have created right over here so this dot post equals to uh, this dot post this dot post uh, dot concat what we need to concat is the data which we are receiving so data that is this one the handler and the data will be having uh, items so just write the items right over here okay now uh, we got all the stuff from the YouTube and uh, let's let's check inside the console that we are getting the correct data or not okay so uh, we, ju we just uh, I'm just gonna console the data on the Mm, okay uh, this dot post right this dot post okay now since uh, we have not provided the channel ID right over here and we have not uh, given the Google token so we are not going to get any data because to do that we need to press specify the channel ID and the Google token okay so uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to retrieve the channel ID, how to get the channel ID and how to uh, get the Google token. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope uh, you understand all the stuff what, what I have written over here. And in the next video, I will just show you the Google token and the channel ID and we'll retrieve the data and we will just uh, log that particular data on the console. Okay, so bye-bye for now. Uh, just we'll meet in the next video.